Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, like you've seen the title, we are going to be making clay rings. And clay rings are so popular right now. I mean, Emma Chamberlain's wearing them, so that means they're in style. They're kind of expensive at some places for no reason. Why? They're literally made out of clay. I thought I would make a video, like I've seen a few people make this video as well, of making DIY clay rings because I just don't think it'll be that tricky. But like I say, it's not that tricky, but then I'm not artistic at all. So we're gonna see how this turns out, but if I can do it, that means you guys can do it. So I'm just gonna show you guys, holy crap, it's really hot in here. Um, show you guys me making the rings. But first I'm gonna show you all the equipment I have. So for clay, I just bought this huge big clay thing from Amazon. There are 36 colors, which is a lot. Some of the colors are super cute, guys. I saw them and I was like, oh my god. This baby pink, lilac, some brown. There are just so many and there's like two layers of this. And it also comes with these little tools. And then it comes with this little bag of like jewelry. So there's like little beads and stuff. And I just got a rolling pin. And then I have some scissors and I think I'm gonna go grab my exact what I Ooh, I think I'm gonna start with like a cow print. I do have to preheat my oven um, because polymer and clay you have to bake. So I have all of my tools here and I said I'm gonna start out with a cow print so we're just gonna get our white and then some black. I'm just gonna take like a tiny bit. That's not a tiny bit. Obviously you don't want it super thin. I'm gonna cut it at about there and then fold it because I don't want it that big that way, but I do want it longer. It's kind of hard for you guys to see because this is white and it's on a white counter. Um, but now I'm gonna take my little black parts and just tear off little bits and then just put it on here. This is our first ring, but we still need to bake it, so. Okay, so I found the person, I found the perfect thing. It was really tricky to just go around your finger. So I'm actually gonna be using this little makeup brush goes on like there and then obviously if i want like a smaller ring for a different finger i can just do it higher up we're going to be using this brush to put the clay around so i'm going to do that and i'm just going to do a little time lapse of most of them and then show you guys when i'm done it's really hot in here um why did the sun just come out it was literally just hailing but yeah so let's continue on <music> one pattern did not work so we're gonna go for a different pattern here okay so I've been doing this for quite a while now so I have like 10 so I think we're just gonna stick with 10 because otherwise I'm gonna be here forever but I'll show you guys the ones that I have done this has been really hard it's been taking me like an hour so Okay, so here are the rings we have. Obviously, it's not like perfect, okay? This is the first one I made and it's like like not very good. So like don't mind that one. These ones are just like thicker and it's like doubled like that. These ones are pretty cool. They just were very hard to make. This one's a bit better. And then this one's kind of like a tie-dye kind of color. Same one. And then this is like a twist and then this one's like a twist. So yeah. We're gonna bake these in the oven for 15 minutes and then I'll show you guys when they're done. This is them baked. They literally look the exact same, but I'm gonna let them sit for a bit because they're still really hot. Um, and then I'm gonna put some Mod Podge over them so that they have like a clear coating on top so that they kind of stick together a bit better okay so i was going to use this mod podge this one um for gloss and go over the rings so that it'd kind of be shiny but tbh didn't happen because i can't find a paintbrush anywhere i'm gonna try on the rings now i actually was trying them on and to be completely honest with you guys one actually broke because it was too small and i have a feeling 
some of them are gonna be too small. This is what they look like. So this is the cow print one. I actually kind of turned out kind of cute. This is like a thick like tie-dye one. This one's a super cute. It's just like a little twist. And then this is one of the squiggle ones. And then this is another tie-dye one. And then this is just like a purple twist. And then on this hand, I've both the double ones. And then I have this little twisty one. And then I have this tie-dye one. Here they are. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got some inspiration. You know what to do and what not to do. A tip I would say is I would make them bigger than smaller. I'm definitely gonna make more because now that I know how to make them, just some of them didn't turn out very good, but that's okay. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this and like these rings, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Um, I love each and one of you so 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 much and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>